as media, we love the Friday night games because we get the weekend off. But <laughs> or kind of off. As a coach, uh, do you prefer Friday or Saturday, or does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. I, I mean, Saturdays, I think, are what college football is supposed to be played on, but a change-up here and there I think is good, too. So it doesn't matter to us. So you look at this Oklahoma State team, you guys faced them last year mm -hmm. and didn't go the way you wanted it to go, wanted it to go. What, what did you learn from that game that you're applying this year? Well, I think that that was one of those games that was a huge jump start to how we're playing this year is I think we felt like after Oklahoma and Oklahoma State that we could hang in there with any teams in the Big 12. Uh, I think we learned that you can play great for one half, but you better be ready to go for 60 minutes in this league. Um, the physicality, we kind of wore down a little bit late, and whether it was backups or whoever, we, you know, we didn't play the way in the second half as we did in the first half. So you truly got to play 60 minutes in the Big 12 to pull off wins. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that that was all a huge jump start to us. As far as this year goes, it's very similar offensive line, same running back, same top wide receiver, same quarterback. So there's a lot of offensive personnel that is exactly the same from that really good unit that played for the Big 12 championship last year. Um, and we, we know what their skill sets are. We know how they physically play. Um, that should help us in this year's game. Does it concern you that Ollie Gordon really hasn't gone off yet? You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come. Well, he's a phenomenal player. Uh -huh. And he ran for 1,700 yards, over 1,700 yards last year. The guy's a phenomenal player. He... Um, is one that you have to game plan for, and we got to be ready for him to have his best game. We got to assume that that's what's going to happen. And the offensive line, those guys are great. I mean, they play; they all played last year, so um, we got to be ready with our A game. Do you guys focus on forcing turnovers? We've been very successful at that. How much of the success of the defense hinges on on getting those takeaways, or or is it just what has happened that has you know kind of enabled you to do other things? Well, I think we've been running our defensive philosophy for the most part. Things have been clean. Um, I don't know that it's always you know maybe as stout as I would like it to be at times, or as clean as I would like it to be as time. But for the most part, I think the guys have really bought into what we're trying to do. They've done a good job in the secondary of creating looks such that quarterbacks have given us interceptions. Um, and I think the front has done a good job for the most part of taking away the run and forcing them into long yarded situations. So uh, I think we're heading in the right direction. I think we got a long we got a long ways to go for us to be executing it where I think we can. What's impressed you the most about Isaiah Glasgow through six games? Well, he's a playmaker. We knew that. He's long and he's athletic. Um, he's really bought into what we're asking him to do. He takes hard coaching and he's applied it and he just gets better and better each week. The weather's supposed to change drastically. Is that something that's in the game plan at all? But well, it should be for us. We should be a cold weather team. I mean, we're used to living at altitude. We're used to cold weather. We're used to playing spring ball practices in the rain and sleet. And um, so whatever comes at us that, in my opinion, should be our advantage. Coach Woods was talking to us a little bit about Bruce Mitchell and pulling him over from the D yeah. line to the O line. Obviously, it worked out pretty well with his first start at center. Do you recall any of those conversations when they kind of wanted to move him or, or kind of what they were saying, what they looked at him? Like well, absolutely. Or, I mean, Bruce was playing for us last year on the defensive line, but I, I really felt strongly that he'd be a better offensive lineman than maybe his role on defense. And uh, I'm glad to see him get his opportunity because he's a great kid. He's a phenomenal worker. He's tough. And uh, I know Coach Wood loves him, and he just played like he played lights out. So um, kudos to Bruce and um, Bruce for being ready to go. What were those attributes that, that why you would look well, at he's, say he's he's strong. He plays with leverage. Um, he can get his pads down. He's intelligent. Uh, which offensive linemen have to be. Um, he had the attributes that I thought would correlate well to that side of the ball. Did he remind you of anybody that you coached that you also moved from the D-line to the O-line and it's worked? Well, we've had a lot of those. Um, Suo Peta right now starts in the NFL. He was a defensive lineman that moved over. Um, Chris Kimoyatu when we were at the University of Utah was a defensive lineman that moved over. I mean, I, there's a list of 10. You catch me on off guard, but those two come to mind for sure. Okay, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks.